Karen. All right, I see somebody, so that means I'm live. Let me find it on my iPad. And, oh, let's see. Hello, hi Molly. How is everybody? All right, let me get settled here. That. All right, I swear my iPad is on silent and it's still making noise. I don't know how that happens. Happy New Year. All right, hold on, let me set this in front of me. Okay, hello everybody. Um, I am gonna try to be back on a normal schedule now that the new year is here and we are through the holidays. I still have um, Kyle at home. He is leaving tomorrow early in the morning. And then Tyler is still here until the early part of February. Hi, Wendy, hello. So I hope everybody had wonderful holidays, that you had a good Christmas, you had a good New Year. We had, um, we had a great time. We had everybody home up until Christmas and then our youngest one left with his girlfriend and we had exciting news on New Year's Eve. He um, proposed and they are now engaged. So now it's not a girlfriend, she is a fiance. So that was really super exciting. Hi Jane, hello Margie, hi Deb. I'm trying to see everybody popping in. All right, the wind and the rain last night were awful, um, but I don't think we got any snow here at my house. I think other places got snow flurries, so, and I don't know about flooding where you guys are. Hopefully everybody came through okay through the weather, but all right. Yep, exciting, exciting times. Okie doke. So today, um, today is the last day for several things. It's the last day of the holiday mini catalog. It is the last day of the Gardens Eden bundle. And um, so if you want any of those things, you gotta do it today. Tomorrow is another exciting day. It will be the beginning of the new mini catalog and the beginning of celebration. This is the new mini catalog. Um, this is the celebration. Hopefully um, you got your copies in the mail. Um, I see some more. Hey everybody, thanks for joining. Yeah, I know it was like 80 degrees on Sunday, I think or Monday, no, Saturday, today's Monday. Saturday was 80 and yesterday everything went down and it's like 34 this morning, something. But today, yes, cold, cold, exciting stuff. Um, so celebration will begin tomorrow. So during celebration, um, you can shop and earn free items, you can host a party, or place um, a larger order and earn a free special stamp set. You can join my team and get free stuff. Um, so lots of ways to get free items. And if you're already a demonstrator, you are also able to get all the free stuff and earn additional demonstrator rewards during that time. So, um, join the team now and you can be earning those extra rewards as well. So happy Monday. Hi mom. I went and saw my parents yesterday. We live closer now in our new house than we did in the old house. And I think it's so much easier to get up there 
to where they live. Um, it's like an hour or less door to door, which is awesome. Um, so, and speaking of awesome, the stamp set I'm gonna show you today is Awesome Otters. Um, that's one of the celebration sets. So I am gonna go ahead and turn my camera down so we can look at my desktop and we can get started stamping it. Otter be fun. I'm not good with puns and jokes, but hey, I tried. Here we go. Okay, let's get everything in the camera here. Get us set up. Okay, I hopefully can see your comments and everything. Here is the celebration brochure. So I hope that you got them in the mail. Um, they came with the mini catalog. It came together um, wrapped in cellophane and I hope it was delivered to the ones that I mailed out. Um, I mailed out quite a bunch and I think you should have gotten them sometime in December. But I do know the mail service is not good right now. Ours is especially not good. Um, I found out apparently if your regular mail carrier is sick or on vacation, you just don't get mail. Uh, apparently we had no mail um, pick up last week on Monday or Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, somebody finally came and I flagged that guy down and he was like, yeah, your mail carrier's out so you don't get your normal mail service. And then nobody came Thursday or Friday. Um, the week before Christmas was the same. It was just a couple of days. And I'm not used to that. At our other house, the mail came every day, even if the person was sick, then somebody else delivered the mail. So I guess they're really understaffed. Anyway, it wouldn't have been so bad except that our, we don't have a mailbox now. We have like a kiosk, not an individual box by our house. So once I drop mail into the little outgoing mail slot, it's locked and I can't get it. So I had dropped mail in there on Monday or for it to go out on Monday thinking it was going out on Monday. And it sat there until late Wednesday afternoon when that guy finally showed up and I couldn't get it out because it was locked. So that was kind of frustrating to me. If I had known that, I would have done something different with it, taken it somewhere. Anyway, enough about that. Um, we, that's like boring stuff. All right, this is the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. I did show you guys that um, last week. So last week I showed you a bunch of the celebration items um, and I stamped one little card for you. So today I've got three cards and they're all gonna use this awesome Otter stamp set which is a free with a $50 order. And we're using the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper, which you can also earn free with a $50 order. So if you had a $100 order, you could get both of these. And these are all the colors in the paper and the patterns. Um, they're like hand swirled or marbled. I don't know how you do that, but they, they do it like in real life, they marble, create this marble design, and then they photograph it and create paper from it. So that's kind of cool. So it's double-sided. And you get, I think, 48 six by six sheets of this. So we're gonna use some of these colors today and use this guy. So let's see. All right, this was a card I gave you a little glimpse of last week. Um, it's a card I made for my team meeting in December when we were talking about celebration. 
So we used the Awesome Otter stamp set and another new product on here. This is called the Fan Baker's Twine. This is in the mini catalog. And you get three rolls of twine. And I used the blue, the Knight of Navy. And I think that one's evergreen and then, and then a red one. And another new thing I'm using is the Cloud Punch. Let's see. So that is what we're using for this right here. So that's two products that are new in the mini catalog. All right, so we are going to do this card. We're using gray granite for our card base. And I pre-cut everything. And then I've got a piece of Knight of Navy. It is three and a quarter inches by four and a half, three and a quarter by four and a half. This is a piece of that Simply Marvelous paper, and it is three by four and a quarter. We're gonna use that. And then I use the basic white to stamp the otter. So what I did with this one is I stamped this otter right here and the hat on his head. I stamped them together and then colored them in and fussy cut them out. Now if you wanted to stamp them independent of one another and cut them out separately, then you could um, you know, attach the hat over his head a little bit more or do something different like that. And then we are going to use the birthday. It's birthday time. The Memento Black Ink. And we're going to punch that out with the cloud punch. All right. Hi, Donna. Hi, Connie. Thank you for joining. So this we are going to fit that in there and punch that out. I think this cloud punch is going to be fun from the catalog. All right, I'm, I colored this ahead of time so that you wouldn't have to watch me color because if I sat here and colored with all of these characters, but let me tell you what I used. I used soft suede Stampin' Blends for his body and then I used the Smoky Slate for his belly. The hat was done with Knight of Navy. The Knight of Navy blends and the So Saffron blends are what I used on the hat because that was the colors of my paper. Now you could do different colors. You could use one of the other marbled papers and make that hat something else. And then I did use a little bit of basic black to color in his nose. So that was the black blends. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these two together kind of at an angle like this and then tie a piece of that twine around those two layers. So we're just gonna kinda of add some glue to the center I kind of want this to be, you know, they're not lined up. Oh, you think he looks good? I am not a good colorer, Connie, at all. I really am not. And I tell you what I've decided is that when you first finish coloring them, they might not look that great, but I think if you give it some time, um, I don't know, I guess time to dry. It somehow blends and it looks, it seems to look better a few minutes later rather than right when I get it done, if that makes sense. So sometimes maybe, maybe you need to give it a minute to dry or settle in or whatever. I saw somebody else pop in. Hi, Joan. I'm late, 
just hearing, oh, yes, Connie, um, one of our team members and friends, um, Mary, lost her battle with cancer um, on the 1st, January the 1st, so we were all saddened to hear that news yesterday, so it was kind of a, an up and down day. We had, I had the exciting news about Ryan and then the sad news about Mary. All right, so we've got that tied around here. And then we're gonna use some dimensionals. Let's put that in here. And you could do this kind of a layout with some other little character. Use this marbled paper. All right, we're just gonna kind of put that right there. Trim those. Now we have to add our otter and our little cloud. Um, also, the otters, if you haven't been to the post office lately, they have some otter postage stamps. I had a whole pack, a whole book, sheet, whatever you call it, uh, but I've used them all, so I don't have that anymore, but I am headed to the post office this afternoon, and then I will be getting, my plan is to get more of those otter stamps to put with my otter stamps. Uh -huh. All right, there's our sentiment on the cloud punch. And then we will put that little guy right there. I think he they are going to be fun, fun, cute little animals. So that's card number one with awesome otters and the simply marvelous paper. All right. Now we are gonna use when I what I wanted to do today is use all three of these little guys. So Here's our second one. We're gonna use this one. And I pulled in another stamp set because I wanted some different words. So to me, he looks like he's hugging that little fish. Um, so I have Sending Hugs, which is from the Eden's Garden stamp set. Um, that's part of a special collection that you can get today with some papers and embellishments. Tomorrow, you'll still be able to get the stamp set and it has coordinating dies. You just won't get that other, the other paper won't be available. But I use Sending Hugs from there. And again, the Cloud Punch. So I'm gonna do, move everything out of my way. Sending hugs. And the cloud punch. And it fits just perfect in that punch. All right, I have a pool party card base for this one. And this time I'm using that pool party coastal cabana marbled paper. I think it looks like water. So I've got that to go on a piece of black. And this piece is four inches by three inches. And then the black one is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So this time I've got a layer and I am going to do it in the center. Um, I did go ahead and color, stamp and color the otter with the stamp and blend. So he stamped in the memento ink and then colored with the blends. 
I haven't cut him out yet because I wanted to show you one thing about that. I've got sock suede for his body, the smoky slate for his belly, the black for his nose, and then the fish I've done in pool party. Got pool party, and then what I did, if you look on this card, when I cut him out, it left me a white edge. And when I was designing this card, originally I had it on a white background, so you couldn't see the white edge, but then I decided to put it on this pool party paper, and now I can see the white edge. So what I decided to try was to take my pool party Stampin' Blends and color around the otter before I cut him out. So that's gonna take away the white edge and turn it into a pool party edge. And we'll see how that looks. All right, hi Mary, how are you? So I'm going to fussy cut him out very quickly. I'm trying to think, somebody um, Somebody told me over the holidays, they went, I guess, to the aquarium and saw the otters with their grandkids. So this stamp set will be perfect for doing some scrapbooking pages with photos, if anybody else has done that. Okay, here we, we're gonna Go around his little hairy top and this is not a perfect cut he's got that fuzz so I'm hoping by coloring around that edge with the pool party first. Now you could come back and color around after. I thought it was easier to do beforehand. But see how this is now, it's very slight, but that's kind of that brighter white, and then this now has the pool party. Before we do that, we're gonna add ribbon. This is pool party shimmer ribbon. take that around my layer before I add that with dimensionals. Oh good, yes, Connie, take your photos. You could scrapbook some otters. So any zoo visits, aquarium visits. Now we have a stamp set for otters. All right, I'm gonna tie that in a little bow. And then we'll add that to the front. More dimensionals. I wonder if they let you pet the otters when you go to the zoo, like a petting zoo or a petting aquarium. Is that a thing? I don't know. All right, now we'll just add the little otter with dimensionals and then add our cloud. So a different look from the first card, but very similar, really similar style, but anyone that needs a hug, this would be a cute card. It could also be a, um, could be a baby card for the little baby. You could use this could be a little boy card, a little 
little baby boy card or use the pink, um, use this pink and do a girl card. So you could do baby cards. Welcome baby. These would be cute baby cards. So there it is. There's a little bit of difference with the white edge versus the pool party edge. It's very minor, but it is a different. It kind of blends in a little bit more, I think. You could, I could have also used the darker, I used the lighter of the two pool parties. Maybe the darker one would have made a bigger difference. I do like it. All right, so there is that. Let's move on to our next card. Let's see, I'm missing some comments here. Um, oh, the otters are far away. Yeah, I can't think if I've seen otters at the zoo. I haven't been to the zoo in a while, or the aquarium for that matter. Alrighty. The third card, so my third card was, um, I received a swap card, and that's this one, and I'm going to change a few things on this card, um, but basically it'll be the same. The card base is Misty Moonlight, and on the inside, because this is darker, we're gonna do the white layer and I have a little strip of the blue marbled paper that's gonna go. So if you have dark card base, it's always good to add a lighter layer on the inside and if you wanna dress it up, you can always take a little piece of whatever designer paper you're using on the front and add that on the inside. So we're gonna do that. Now we have a place to write a message. So that's just the inside of our card. Now we're gonna work on the front. So for this one, I'm using the otter that's in the water and he's not really somebody that's easy to fussy cut. So he's going on a die cut rectangle piece. And I use just a slightly larger piece than what was on this swap card. The swap card is from Betsy Kreider. And then we're gonna go back to coloring. I am sticking with Soft Suede and the Smoky Slate. I think she used probably Soft Suede or Crumb Cake and then maybe the Ivory. So that is another option. This one, I didn't color ahead, so now you can see me do some messy coloring. So I colored around some with the light, and then I'm gonna come back in with my dark and add along the edge. I want it to be a little darker and then I'm going to come back with the light and kind of blend them together. And I'm filling in spots that I missed. blend a little bit more. We need some black on his nose. And I don't know what color otters are for real. 
this is what I use. And then Smoky Slate Light. Also, when you have the light and the dark, you can use um, the little spots where Stampin' Up! has like little shading like this. This is why I colored some of the others ahead because coloring takes a minute. And I'm missing comments if you guys are saying anything. All right, there's my otter. So you can see I colored different colors than what she did. Hi, Sue, how are you? Hello, Anne. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I've said hello to most of you. Um, I don't always see all the names, so welcome, and if you watch later on the replay, welcome as well. All right, I've got some Misty Moonlight and some Balmy Blue. And we're going to start here with the... Start with the light balmy blue. Put some color on here. And I am really not, I, I do like to color, but I am not a good colorer. So where these little lines are, I'm going to add. I'm go darker, and then I'm afraid the, I'm going to stick with the light, misty moonlight. I, I don't think she used the Misty Moonlight in her water, but I wanted to add a little bit of that in here as well. Her water might look better than mine. can see very well. Add these drops just a little bit darker. So can you see? So I kind of combined both of those blues together. Hopefully you can see that. All right, and I've got the blue little layer of the marbled paper. So we're gonna glue that down. My glue is here. And let me stamp a little greeting in the corner. Oh, it's crooked. Oops. Let's 
this in the center. And you could dimensionalize this or do it flat. This I'm going to do on dimensionals. When you use blends, um, it does kind of go through to the back. So protect your work surface. It doesn't really come off so far, but it soaks through. And I did a bigger rectangle because I want it in a slightly smaller strip than what she did. And then I'm going to finish with these blue gems that are in the regular catalog. I just thought they would be fun to use. my words were straight but oh well there is another card two diff slightly different versions so mine uses the larger rectangle and a slightly skinnier strip I wanted it inside my rectangle and then I use blue gems instead of the basic gems. And then I colored my otter a little bit different. But otherwise, it's the same card as the swap card. All right, that was the three cards for you. One, two, three otters from the Awesome Otters stamp set. And then the three of the colors from the Marvelous paper. So I didn't use the purple. I did use the pool party. There's also the gray. I used the blue and then there's the pink. So you've got three more sets of colors to use. Um, again, you can get each of those free with $50 order. Um, so you could order for $50, you could get um, Stampin' Blends. Each pair is $9, so if you got six pairs that would be over the fifty dollars and i used one two three four five six i actually used eight different colors between these three cards but you could pare it down to six colors you know you could do this one in a different color um you could do that one in whichever color i used the sheer ribbon the blue gems the twine those all run about from six to eight dollars. The Cloud Punch is 18 and the Eden's Garden stamp set is 23. So you've got a variety of ways to get $50 out of the products I used or even a hundred if you want both things for free. That all starts tomorrow on the 4th at I think it's like 5 a.m. Mountain Time or something, 3 a.m. Mountain Time, something like that. Okay, host code for January is this FTQMFXY3, that's for online ordering. The tutorial bundle for January is going to be Valentine Love, so it's all projects using a valentine theme oh look here's a valentine card with the same this little peak uses the otter and the marbled paper so you're going to get one more project with kind of these supplies in that tutorial bundle 
All right. Thank you, Donna. Thanks, Karen. I'm glad you like the cards. I think the otters are adorable. So, hope you liked everything, and I will see you again next Monday. I don't think there's a reason I'm not going to be here. I plan to be on schedule for a while. All right, Laurie, I'm going to finish here, so you'll have to go back and watch the replay if you're just joining right now. And have a great week, everybody. Stay warm. That 70-degree weather sure was nice, but now we're back to cold temperatures. Have a great week, and I will see you next week. Bye, everybody.